Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. Today I will be walking through you the process of building and deploying a REST API in Azure. In this demo, we are going to create API app using Azure portal and then we are going to create a REST API project inside Visual Studio and we are going to deploy from Visual Studio to Azure and see how we can use that with Swagger. Let's start. So for this demo, we are into Azure portal and inside our resource group where we are going to create API app resource. Let's go ahead and create and in marketplace we can search with API apps. The API app option will come along with the web app, web app plus database, static web app. So we have seen that how to create a static web app. We have seen also web app, how to create web app. Now we are going to see how to create API app. In API app is generally we are creating where we are going to create and deploy a restful API in seconds. So this is built on app services framework and this is great uh, service provided by Azure. So let's go ahead and click on create. Let's put a fully qualified name uh, so that uh, this name, whatever name we will provide dot Azure website dot net, we can access and there are multiple flavor to publish a static web. Generally for a static web, we have seen where we can deploy any static HTML or React or Angular type of application. Docker container where we can bring our containers. Code where we can select the different runtime stake .NET or ASP.NET Go, Java, Node or PHP, Python, Ruby, whatever we want to do. So if we go into Ruby select that will be in Linux and if we select PHP also only it is on level on Linux. If we select Node then we have an option where Windows and other things are there. If I go uh, for .NET we have a default as Windows and Linux so I'm going with .NET because I want to deploy this service from Visual Studio. So in next as we selected Windows we have Windows plan here now we can see that what hardware we want to use and what kind of plan so there are uh, free plans and there are premium plans standard plan different plans we can go and explore pricing uh, tier and depending upon we want to see where the hardware there are different type of hardwares will come or different feature wise we want to see we can explore and see right now i am going to select default standard s1 where bcpu is 100 and the cpu code is 1 memory is 1.75 and different things so let me select these details and i'm going for deployment deployment we can enable continuous deployment from github hub i'm going to disable because i am going to deploy from our visual studio directly for demo purpose let's go to networking section where we can inject uh, network injection for more security like private uh, endpoint and other things that we are not uh, going to do right now monitoring where we can enable app inside where all the logs will go to application inside and then we can see what is happening inside our application it's another thing so i'm going to keep default and we can go ahead and create this resource so now our api app is created let's go to resource now if we browse this api app your web app is running and waiting for your content so let's go ahead and download this publish profile now let's go to visual studio and let's create a api application let's create a new project i'm going to say that api asp.net and i'm going to select asp.net core web api so let's go next and let me put a name api and here version is there i am using .NET which we have given and i am going to enable api open api support uh, to see swagger and other details to browse and see what apis are there let me create so now if we see uh, that weather forecast is model has been created and if we see controller weather forecast is created and different settings is there right now swagger is enabled swagger and swagger ui provides the ui to explore our api let me run locally so see how it looks like now if we go into our code and this is swagger ui where we have we have one API which is get API if we try that one out and execute that one we are going to get that output and if we see inside our API controller 
uh, we have this uh, weather forecast controller where we have a get call and in get call it is generating some random data to return that one this is what we are saying now let's go ahead and uh, deploy this one for deployment we can go into publish and there will be multiple option is going to come for deployment we can directly deploy from azure without publish uh, profile but uh, as we deploy the publish profile i'm going to import profile let me browse that publish profile and let me finish it will create a profile for publish purpose and let me close that now ready to publish so i'm going to publish this api app generally for Coding purpose, we add this to source control and create our own branches in repository and then we do code review and other things and then in CICD will be enabled into our repo so that uh, deployment will happen. But demo purpose, I am going to do this way so that we know that this is one of way for testing another purpose. If you want to so do the demo without all the setups, then you can do all this. So now it is published and it is installed the extension and it is deployed all these things it says that it is not found but let me put that name as swagger here and let's see that what it says let me try to see so let me debug from here let me see if swagger is enabled into only deep development that is why it is not coming let me remove this code so that at least for demo purpose we can see the swagger let me build and deploy one more time let me publish now let's put the swagger url and now we can see that swagger is coming and now if we go and try it out our web api is ready and we can use this web api from anywhere right now using this rest endpoints and other things so this is what i wanted to show you in this demo thank you mm -hmm.